Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about how repentance is not optional in your relationship with God. You know, a lot of people want to have a relationship with God. They do. At the innermost part of a person, people crave God in some way. Now, there are people that are just straight out atheists. There's people that they want to have a relationship with God. You know Hillsong? It's this church celebrities go to. I actually went to this church before when I was visiting someone. I went to the church. And I can't say everything they teach you know, I, I don't know exactly. I only went one time. But the pastor there, he was saying a lot of nice things, like we need to trust God and how good God is and all that. But when it came down to sin, what he said was, everyone sins. If you're sinning, everyone sins. And I had a very big problem with that, him saying that. Because first of all, it's confusing. And he wasn't teaching people about repentance and turning from sin unto death. Now, everyone does sin. But born-again Christians need to turn from sin unto death to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You see, people want the relationship, but a lot of people, they just want to live in their sins, too. They're like, okay, I want to be saved from hell. I, I want to have a relationship with God, but I don't want to leave my sins behind unto death. So I will have both. That's what the devil wants people to think, that they can do that. No, that's, you can't do that. Repentance and turning from sin unto death is not optional, guys. It, it would, it's what makes you from darkness into light, and then Jesus Christ covers you. His righteousness covers you. Do you know what a true conversion is? Someone truly coming to God? Now, I don't want to say this for all Christians. I'm going to just say what happened to me. When I truly started repenting and God led me into repentance himself and I became born again, I didn't even know what that was. The demons of hell, they all came after me. I was like attacked by demons. I had no idea what was happening to me. It was insane. It was intense. I was like, what is happening to me? This is what happens when you come to God, truly. When you turn from darkness into light, you become Satan's enemy. That's what happened to me. You see, Satan wants people to believe in a watered-down version of Jesus. That Jesus is fine with every sin you do, everything you do, and just... Pray to him and you're good. That's not who Jesus Christ is. He has extreme wrath on sin, guys. God could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Literally. You don't want to be on bad, God's bad side. Oh. God is so sweet and loving and kind if, if you're his child. You're born again. But if you're not his child, your the wrath is upon you. Not that he doesn't love you. I mean, he's trying to draw you away from that. Especially if you're watching my videos. But people have to know God's just not cool with your sin. It separates you from God. You must turn from those things. And his love, in his love, he's, he's warning people. 
I mean, if people choose to live in their sins, what can he do? He must punish you and put you in hell. That's just how it is. Now, if you turn from those things and accept Jesus Christ, he can save you. But that's your choice. You have to, to, to see, are you really converted? Are you just living in sin and saying, I love Jesus? You know what I'm saying? Born-again Christians live in repentance. It's not optional. Now, yes, there's grace for us, and Christians can fall, but you must live in repentance. This is how you, you turn from darkness to light. You know, there's this video God led me to watch. It's a Haley Bieber you know, she's uh, Justin Bieber's wife. She has a YouTube channel. She was talking about God. I'm not going to say anything really about her. I'm just going to talk about what she said. It's her and this one woman. And they're talking about God. And there was this part of their conversation. She was like, yeah, so the Bible says we shouldn't have sex before marriage. You know, or both of them were saying this in different ways. And she was like, one of them was like, yeah, but what if I chose to, you know, when I turned 18 or when I'm in a committed relationship, I chose to and or and not and wait till then. And then Haley was like, oh, yeah. And what if I chose not to wait at all in this? And I was just like, what is this? What is this? It's like some watered down, I guess, I don't even know if I'd want to call it, well, they, they talk about Jesus and it's like watered down. What are you talking about? Why would you preach that it's fine to, to have sex before marriage? I don't understand. And of course, I believe, how many people watch this? 33,000? I don't think that's sending out a good message. Do you know if I said that and I said it's fine, I don't even want to say it, if I said what she said, the Holy Spirit would discipline me. <laughs> say something like that. You see, people think it's optional. They think it's fine if I did that. Now, a Christian can fall, but this is different. This is literally like planning to have sex outside of marriage. And she was like, God is our friend. And, you know, everyone has a different relationship with God and views the Bible differently. And yes, all of us have a different relationship with God. But one thing we all have in common is repentance and being born again. And all of us, I would believe, have like the right doctrine. I mean, God speaks to us differently, but That's the common doctrine. There was no speaking of being born again or. Why would you go and plan to have sex before marriage and say it's fine and hurt Jesus? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. What are you saying? They're like, oh, OK, because it says it in the Bible. We shouldn't do it in this. And then they speak of Jesus. It's like, well. Don't you not want to hurt Jesus? You know, when when I was in Hillsong and I heard that, I was so righteously angry. Because it's confusing people. Now, I think God did lead me to watch another video on Hillsong, actually, before this. And it was talking about the man that... that I think his name is Carl Lenz. He used to be like a mentor to Justin Bieber. He was the pastor in the church and they found out that he was cheating on his wife while he was a pastor. And then they fired him. I think they have some type of thing about sin. And... But what's very strange and 
And this is not me judging this woman. It's just me teaching, guys. Vanessa Hudgens goes to that church, right? And she has a video I saw. It's a uh, commercial about birth control. And it talks about having sex and stuff like that. And she's not married. So what's going on here? What is that? It's watered down, Jesus speak. It's just not true Christianity. The devil doesn't want people to truly come to Jesus and have a real relationship with him. He wants them to be in some watered-down false doctrine. And then Haley was talking about how she, because she's a model, she would w wear things that were immodest. Now, I'm not going to be, like, so judgmental on these things. I don't really want to say anything about her. I like to just talk about what people say and correct their doctrines. But I know that if I was wearing lingerie or something and, and uh, I could never make a picture of that and put it on Instagram or YouTube because I would be extremely convicted by the Holy Spirit. Just saying. Now, when she would do these things, there would be people coming to her telling her she's a whore. Now, that's not love. That's religious spirits. See, people are so confused. And then she'd say, you know, that's not love. That's not acceptance. I think God, Jesus is love and he's acceptance. I don't think Jesus accepts sin. He's love, but I wouldn't say he's accepting of sin in any form. Right? But that woman that's telling her she's a whore, that's that's not of God either. See, people are so confused because the devil wants people just confused. There's people who think turning from sin is law and Pharisee doctrine. There's people who keep the law and they're in Pharisee doctrine. <laughs> it's just... So many different doctrines that the devil tries to place there to confuse people. God's true doctrine is you must turn from sins unto death. Like sexual sins, anything sexual you do outside of marriage, including masturbation. Is sexual wickedness and must be turned from. You know, watching pornography also, or going to strip clubs, lying, cheating, hating people, stealing, you know, sins unto death, worshiping another god, or that must be turned from. And you, you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you believe in what he did, and you become born again. Then you live in repentance. That's God's true doctrine. It's not Pharisee doctrine. It's not law. Okay, that's his true doctrine. Now, the law was the law of Moses in the Old Testament. It contained many, many commandments. That's not for today anymore. People are confused. They think, oh... Turning from sin is law, and this that's Satan confusing people. Now there's people that think they must keep the old way and the law, and that's not of God anymore. We simply turn from sins unto death. That's his new commandments. That's his commandments for now in the New Testament. You see, Old Testament, old ways. New Testament, new ways. No longer under the law. Philean ministries, they teach the old ways. They're not anointed by God to teach what they're teaching. It's displeasing to him, very much so.
And a lot of people are deceived by them. It shocks me. People need to be reading their Bibles, not just following people. And then you have people like Renee Rowland who teach you can sin all you want and go to heaven. You see, it's two opposite ways. You have to know God's true doctrine of what I just said. And then live in repentance. Now a Christian can fall, but overall, you live in repentance. Satan wants people to just live in some watered down, lukewarm nonsense. That's not from God. So strange and confusing to me. Because when I came to God and I truly loved him, he showed me his ways. Why I don't know why these people are not really finding out this stuff. Maybe they're just living in their sins and want to use Jesus. You know how many people use Jesus? A lot of people use him. Because they don't want to go to hell. They'll just be like, okay, good. I believe Jesus is real now. Now I won't go to hell. Now let me continue my sins. They just use him. He knows that. He knows the heart. Now, of course, all of us want to be saved from hell. Don't get me wrong. But you need to repent because that's you ch showing Jesus you love him back. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. But people will say, I have a relationship, and then preach it's fine to have sex before marriage. What relationship is that? Because Jesus Christ wouldn't tell you to say that. So many people are so confused about this. Why? Because Satan is the author of confusion. You know, when I preach this, that we must turn from sin, there's people and they live in the faith alone and they think that they don't need to turn from sin and the demons in their minds go insane, telling them, no, you don't have to. The devil doesn't want true warriors fighting him. Do you know what I've been through being a true Christian? Do you know the refinement fire of God and what it is all Christians will go through it probably not all on the same levels but me being a, a leader oh my goodness I had no idea this existed this type of refinement God does you know the people I used to hang out with when I first came to God around the time when I first found out about true repentance and I was kind of like within this ministry and I'd hang out with some of the people in there, the refinement God put on me, he never put on those people the way he's done it to me. I would wonder, I'd be like, God, why me? I think it has to do with my calling. It's intense, man. There's, there's people I know of, they go through similar, but there's a sister and I would talk to her and she's gone through that type of refinement and we would talk about how bad it is and we, we were shocked God would put it, put that on us. It's shocking. You know, the refinement he put on me, if he never put the refinement on me, that level of refinement, it'd probably take me like 25 years if he just did it slowly, he had to speed it up. He's like, let's go here. We're going. I got to get my church together. I got to get people saved. I got to get my children on board. You know how valuable you are? Like valuable you are if you actually preach God's true doctrine. Because so many people don't. You're very needed. That's why he refined me so bad. When you truly know God, oh my, he disciplines you. And I say discipline, but it's like refinement. 
Even when you don't do anything wrong. It's like being in the army. You know people, they go into the army. They're, they didn't go in the army doing something wrong, but they get disciplined and they're by their sergeant. They train. That's what I mean by discipline. We're so needed in this world because Satan has confused so many people. And the people that don't want to do this and they don't think that's how it is, they just are in darkness while they claim Jesus. You must turn from darkness and come to light and be light. All the hounds of hell, just when I started, when I really became born again, they just came after me. That's true conversion, guys. It's not some watered down, um, let's have sex before marriage. It's fine with God. He's my friend. <laughs> what the heck is that? It's not of God. So strange, really. So guys, no true doctrine. Examine yourself. Are you born again? Make sure you're born again. If you're born again, God will convict you of sin. Not everyone's going to have the same refinement I have. It's because I'm a leader. I haven't seen this on as many people. Certain people do have it, but the way he put it on me and three times, oh my goodness. You know, people see me on this channel and they're like, I want to do what she's doing. That's great. I, I wish I could do that. Do you know if God told me? before everything that happened and all the refinement and he's like Paige I'm gonna I'm gonna make you a leader I'll exalt you I'll, I'll have you bear fruit I'll speak from your mouth I'll be with you I'll bless you but this is all the refinement you will go through it will happen three times for at least eight months each time that's what we're doing I would tell him no I would say no I'm good just make me a housewife or something no one would want it. People don't know where I've been. It's like I've been to hell and back. Like I've been through hell on earth. There's a brother. He's been through this too. He told me the same thing. He was like, I've been to, to hell on earth. That's God's refinement on me. People would think God wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, he would. It's part of his love on me. This is true Christianity. Not some false, let me just say I love Jesus and live like the devil. Those people aren't a threat to, to Satan. He leaves them alone. He's like, whatever, I don't even care about them. Let me go after the real Christians attacking my kingdom. They're in the light and they know the truth. I better shut their mouth that's why I know I'm not going to go speechless. I will speak what God wants me to speak. Make sure you're truly converted, guys. All right, love you. Bye.